Uh, let me get a voice in on the currency markets, but also the bond markets back home. Uh, we've got Mr. N.S. Venkatesh of IDBI Bank with us in the studio. Sir, good morning. Thanks good for coming morning. in. Good morning. Good morning. Let's talk about the rupee. Disappointing, yeah. right? I mean, you hit that three-month high, but you didn't even hold anywhere near those levels. No, essentially, if you look at it, we have we have always been talking about this that the current account deficit is a major, major concern. The rupee is always under pressure, and uh, you have the fiscal deficit also a little bit uh, beyond the control. So maybe uh, we need to ensure that both the deficits are brought under control, which will automatically translate into lower inflation. So I I personally believe that. Uh, whatever steps we are uh, currently taking, including that gold import duty, hikes and all those things. I personally believe the rupee will be under pressure for, for quite a long time. What is happening is the current account deficit is being compensated by the capital account flows which are coming because of the equity market doing well. Uh, but uh, having said that, I, I think that rupee will definitely be under pressure. Uh, maybe uh, on and off you will see some strengthening coming into the rupee, but otherwise it is under pressure. What's been uh, the dynamic in the market last few days? I'm curious to know. I mean, have foreign banks been selling? Because the FI numbers have been pretty strong. I'm wondering if they're sort of selling coming in. On the other hand, mm. uh, do importers come in and rush and buy every time you get to slightly lower levels? Because, I mean, you know, that demand has not gone out of the market. Obviously. That is right. Uh, see, uh, the, if, you, if you look at the last uh, couple of days' uh, transactions, you will always find that it's actually the foreign bankers who are selling. Even today morning, you would have seen some of the foreign banks selling. It is essentially the uh, equity flows coming in. And uh, uh, yesterday and today, I would say it is little bit of the debt flows coming in because okay. the FIS had bid in the debt market and they took around 3 billion uh, sort of uh, uh, auction uh, bidding okay. in their uh, limits. So I think they are bringing in the money. So to that much extent you will you will see some uh, foreign currency flows coming into the market. But the underlying trade deficit still remains. So automatically the oil companies will come and hedge, mm -hmm. oil companies will come and buy the dollar. The other importers will also, like the gold importers will also buy the dollar. So that pressure is uh, still remaining. That, uh, that is what is causing this, uh, I would say, even though in the normal course, because of the capital flows coming in, your rupee should appreciate, but it is not getting that strength. Though dollar index, if you see dollar is weakening against some of the other leading currencies, yeah. but it is not giving us the benefit here. It's not giving us the benefit. So yesterday there were some uh, comments that are coming out from the finance minister. I think he's been uh, speaking yes. in Hong Kong to investors. Yes. Anything yes. you picked up from that as being important? Any key takeaways? No, what I picked up was one that he said that uh, the fiscal deficit will be kept under control at 5.3 and also the roadmap that he had given for the next uh, five years to bring it down to the 3% which he feels that it is uh, an achievable target. So that augurs well for the economy if, uh, if we can bring the fiscal deficit under control. Uh, the second thing is he has said that okay, the uh, it will be like uh, for the investors it will be uh, a safe and sound uh, sort of regulation that will be there. The GAR has been pushed to 2016 uh, sort of thing. That brings in some sort of comfort for the investors to come in. So I think these are some of the issues. The macro issues is one fiscal deficit will be under control. That is, that is a major, major positive for the economy. Mm -hmm. The second thing is the investment climate he is trying to improve. Here. So that will also bring in maybe foreign capital inside the country which will promote growth for this country. So you will you will actually see the growth going back to maybe the 7, 7 to 8, 8 region maybe a couple of years uh, down the line. That augurs well for the economy. I think that is that is the two key takeaways that I personally believe from that uh, statement that he had made in Hong Kong. So in terms of what that translates into on the bond markets and of course there's you know tomorrow, next week's uh, policy which is going to be the immediate trigger, yeah. uh, what are you building in on the bond sides? I, I believe on the bond market, uh, everybody is now watching the Reserve Bank which is there on 29th with their monetary policy. The underlying inflation pressures are still uh, remaining. It has not gone away with the CPI numbers. If you saw the CPI numbers are in double digits. But uh, I, I think that uh, having said that, uh, the focus has shifted to a little bit to the growth even from the monetary policy stance. Uh, uh, last time also when they reviewed they said as the focus has shifted to growth. So I believe that uh, maybe they will now start, come and do something in the monetary policy. I, I believe that uh, the government has taken enough steps to actually try to bring the fiscal deficit under control. Uh, so that gives a little bit of confidence to the central banker. So I believe that the central banker will also respond uh, by uh, maybe cutting the rates. I, I believe he should start cutting the rates. What's the call? 25 uh, plus I, I, 25 on CRR or 50 <laughs> on rates? Uh, I, I, our house view is that it will be 25 basis point uh, repo rate cut, uh, also coupled with a 25 basis point CRR cut. In addition to giving the CRR cut, I think that uh, the uh, 
the liquidity will be injected through the OMOs. So to that much extent, I think the bond market should cheer for the simple reason there will be enough liquidity in the market through the OMOs in addition to this year. So we got 25-25, you think yields will move down, stay steady, uh, move higher? I think the... Isn't a part hmm. of the market still hoping uh, for 50? I mean, I get a I, sense I, that a part of the market is still hoping for 50. I would say that I, I, I tend to agree a little bit with you on that in the sense that uh, at, at least say around... Uh, on a probability scale, I would say around 25% of the market <laughs> could be expecting a 50 basis point. But uh, we at our IDB Bank, we believe that it could be only a 25 basis point uh, repo rate cut with a 25 basis point CRR cut. And also continuing with the OMO operations. That's what we believe so that the liquidity will be provided to take care of the productive needs of the economy because this is the last quarter of the financial year. So I think Reserve Bank will always ensure that enough liquidity is provided so that the productive needs of the economy is met. I'll leave it at that, sir. We'll keep Thank guessing you. until Thank next you. Tuesday when Thank we finally you. get it. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks Thank for coming you so in. Much. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for Retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.